Neurology Quiz Part 2 Spinal Cord Injury 11. Which clinical manifestation would the nurse assess in the client with a T12 spinal cord injury, SCI, who is experiencing spinal shock? L1. Flaxid paralysis below the waist. L2. Lower extremity muscle spasticity. L3. Complaints of a pounding headache. L4. Hypertension and bradycardia. 12. 11. Correct answer 1. Spinal shock is associated with an SCI. It is a sudden depression of reflex activity, a loss of sensation, and flaccid paralysis below the level of the injury. T12 is just above the waist. Waist. The nurse is caring for a client who has a C6 vertebral fracture and is using crutch field tongs with two pound weights. Which data would the nurse expect the client to exhibit? L1. The client is on controlled mechanical ventilation at 12 respirations a minute. L2. The client has no movement of the lower extremities. L3. The client has 2 plus deep tendon reflexes in the lower extremities. L4. The client has loss of sensation below the C6 vertebral fracture. 12. Correct answer 3. The spinal cord has not been injured, therefore, normal body movement, responses, and reflexes should be intact. The crutchfield tongs ensure that the cervical spine remains in alignment. 13. The rehabilitation nurse caring for the young client with a T12 SCI is developing the nursing care plan. Which priority intervention should the nurse implement? L1. Monitor the client's indwelling urinary catheter. L2. Insert a rectal stimulant at the same time every morning. L3. Encourage active lower extremity range of motion ROM, exercises. L4. Refer the client to a vocational training assistance program. 13. Correct answer 2. The client's bowel and bladder functions must be addressed, therefore, administering a daily rectal stimulant will ensure a daily bowel movement. Indwelling urinary catheters are discouraged due to the increased risk of infection associated with their use. 14. The nurse is caring for a client with a C6 SCI in the Neurological Intensive Care Unit. Which nursing intervention should be implemented? L1. Monitor the client's heparin drip. L2. Assess the neurological status every shift. L3. Maintain the client's ice saline infusion. L4. Administer corticosteroids intrathecally. 14. Correct answer 3. Current treatment options that have proven efficacy in treating SCI is to decrease inflammation and edema by lowering the body temperature with ice saline solutions. Intravenous corticosteroid therapy is a standard of care but not intrathecal, into the spinal cord. 15. The male client with a C6 SCI tells the home health nurse he has had a severe pounding headache for the last two hours. Which intervention should the clinic nurse implement? L1. Determine when and how much the client last urinated. L2. Ask the client if he has taken any medication for the headache. L3. Inquire when the client had his last bowel movement. L4. Check the client's respiratory rate reading immediately. 15. Correct answer 1. The cause of the pounding headache is most likely autonomic dysreflexia, a result of exaggerated autonomic responses to stimuli. An elevated blood pressure would confirm this. The most common cause of autonomic dysreflexia is a full bladder. 
All the other options could be implemented, but confirming the autonomic dysreflexia is priority. A client with a T1 SCI complains of lightheadedness and dizziness when the head of the bed is elevated. The client's beat slash P is 84 fortieths. Which action should the nurse implement first? L1. Increase the client's intravenous, 4, rate by 50 milliliters per hour. L2. Administer dopamine, a vasopressor, via an 4 pump. L3. Notify the HCP immediately. L4. Lower the client's head of bed immediately. 16. Correct answer 4. The blood pressure tends to be very unstable and low for clients with an SCI of T6 or above, and slight elevations of the head of the bed can cause profound drops in the client's vital signs. The nurse caring for a client with a C6 SCI determines the client has no plantar reflexes. Which area on the stick figure should the nurse document this finding? 17. Correct answer. Check bizarrebiblio.com. 18. The nurse on the rehabilitation unit is caring for the following clients with SCIs. Which client should the nurse assess first after receiving the change of shift report? L1. The client with a C6 SCI who has a warm, reddened edematous gastrocnemius muscle. L2. The client with an L4 SCI who is concerned about being able to live independently. L3. The client with an L2 SCI who is complaining of a headache and nausea. L4. The client with a T4 SCI who is unable to move the lower extremities. Correct answer 1. The gastrocnemius muscle is the calf muscle and warmth, redness, and swelling in the muscles indicate the client has a deep vein thrombosis DVT, which requires immediate intervention. A client with an L2 SCI, option 3, would not experience autonomic dysreflexia. A client with a T4 SCI, option 4, would not be expected to be able to move the lower extremities. Extremities 19. The nurse is caring for clients on a rehabilitation unit. Which nursing task would be most appropriate for the nurse to delegate to the unlicensed assistive personnel, UAP? L1. Ask the UAP to hold the urinal while the client performs the creed maneuver. L2. Discuss the proper method of administering tube feedings to the family member. L3. Assist with bowel training by inserting a suppository into the client's rectum. L4. Observe the client demonstrating self-catheterization technique. Nineteen. Correct answer one. The UAP can hold a urinal for the client. The UAP cannot assess, teach, evaluate, administer medications, or care for an unstable client. Twenty. The twenty-five-year-old client with an SCI is sharing with the nurse that he is worried about how his family will be able to survive financially until he can go back to work. Which intervention should the nurse implement? L1. Refer the client to the American Spinal Injury Association. L2. Refer the client to the State Rehabilitation Commission. L3. Refer the client to the social worker about applying for disability. L4. Refer the client to an occupational therapist for life skills training. Client. 20. Correct answer 3. The social worker is responsible for assisting the client with financial concerns. The Asia assists clients to live with their SCI, and the Rehabilitation Commission can assist with employment. Get Buzz or Biblio Books app for more.